Let's talk about class modifiers and properties in Python. So to understand what they are, let's go ahead and create a new text document. We'll change this into temp for temperatures. And let's go ahead and edit that with Notepad++. So I'm going to create a class, temperature. And in my class, I will have my initialization method. Go ahead and take a single variable. And this one is going to be a temperature in Celsius. So C temp. And I'm going to set it. So I can do self C temp equals C temp. Now there is a problem with this right here. The problem being that anytime someone wants to change it, they can just use ctemp directly and modify it. What if I don't want them to do that? Well, I can do an underscore, and that indicates to them that this is a private variable. Is it really private? No, not really. It just looks that way. And it's convention, convention used to indicate that it is a private variable. All right. Now, if I want to access this, I can't or I shouldn't use the underscore and the name. So I should have a different variable that I can use to access it. And that's called my getter to get it and a setter for setting it. So my getter is going to be defined as def get C self. And all I do is just return self c or underscore c temp that's all it does just returns that c temp and my setter is going to set it so def set c and i pass in self and my c temp and it just sets it so self underscore c temp equals c temp passed in Now, once you have these two in place, you can go ahead and write some code to run it. So I will go ahead and get my outside temperature. And it's going to be a temperature variable class instance. And I'm going to pass in the number 20 because 20 is an okay temperature. It's comfortably cold. It's not, not warm, not cold. It's just kind of like right there. And then I'm going to print this out. Print outside and then I want to use the variable I can't or I shouldn't use the underscore C temp so I'm going to use the get C instead so get C now this get C is a method so I need to use the open and close parentheses because I'm actually calling it and not accessing it directly and then close that and I can print out the temperature so I'll go ahead and save that and then I run my code right here. Dump. And it prints out the temperature of 20, which is nice. All right. So now that you have the temperature of 20 being printed out, the question is, well, what is that in Fahrenheit? Because not everyone does Celsius. All right, so I'll go ahead and create a getter and a setter for Fahrenheit. Def getter. And def get f is simple. But this one is a little different because the temperature is stored internally as C temp, underscore C temp. If I wanted to store an F temp, I could do that, and then I could just return the F temp, but I don't want to do that. I just want to return the value that it would be if you converted it. So I'll return and convert my C temp over into the F temp. So self C temp, and how do you convert it? Well, you say you multiply times nine divided by five, and then you add 32, and let's just throw in some parentheses because we like parentheses and they're kind of cool. And then just make it a little clearer for anybody else who's reading the code to see what's going on. 
All right. So that will get me my temperature in Fahrenheit. So let's go ahead and create the F setter. Because sometimes you want to record the temperature, but you don't know how to convert it to Celsius first. So you just want to record it as Fahrenheit. So do I get or a set F self and this is an F temp instead of a C temp. And I want to set my C temp because the C temp is the only variable we are actually storing up here. So I'll do self underscore C temp equals and I have to convert this. So what is it? Well, I get my F temp. I subtract 32. And then after I've subtracted my 32, oops, I want to divide by 9 and multiply times 5. All right, and that will set my temperature. So let's say the temperature outside is 20, and I decide, okay, now my outside temperature is set F. 80 degrees. I can do that. Or, before I even do that, I can say, well, what is 20? I don't want to get my get out. So I can save that and run it and see what happens. So if I do there, you can see that my F temperature is, Fahrenheit is 68. If I want to now change it and then run this again, I could do that as well. So I'll set it to 80. And I can run it and you should report 80 because that's what 80 is. It's 80. But what about if I want to see what this is in Celsius? So I can do a get C. So I save that and then I go ahead and run it. And you can see that it is a 26 point, a bunch of sixes. All right, that's nice. What if I want to change my Celsius to, let's say, 40 and see what that is in Fahrenheit? I can do that as well. I just run it, and there you go. All right, now that's kind of a clunky and it's difficult. So let's talk about properties now. I could create properties in here. And a property allows me to have a, a different variable that's easily accessible. So if I wanted to have a, a temperature object a dot C, I could do C equals proper property. And then I have a couple of options. I can pass it the F get, which is my, my getter. I can also pass in the setter, my deleter and my doc. And these things allow me to do stuff like uh, clean things up and, and grab things and get stuff. So I'm going to pass in just the function name. So I can do my getter. I can do F get equals in the name of the function, or I can just do the name of the function. And same thing with a setter. So get, then set. So I'll do get C, and then my set C. Notice there are no parentheses, and I didn't do the deleters or anything else. Um, but what this does is it creates this dot C object that allows me to get and set right here. And I can do the same thing with my F. So I'll do F equals property, and then uh, get F and set F. Now, instead of using the get C, I can say C equals 40, and remove that front C. And then I could, instead of printing out my get F, I could just do F. So this should print out the 104 but we want to see a different number, so let's do, let's say 45 degrees, which is really hot. So outside C equals 45. Print out the outside in Fahrenheit and figure out what it is. So I go ahead and run that, 
and you can see, oh, that's 113. And I can also do it the other way around as well. Just, uh, I can say the outside temperature is now 95 and figure out what that is in Celsius, just so I can see. So I'll go ahead and run that. And you can see it's 35 degrees Celsius. And this makes it much easier to work with things because it's not setting a property or an attribute directly. It's going through a function that sets the attribute and does it cleanly and allows you to do much more than just set the attribute. You can do controlled setting and setting other things or storing it internally differently. So this is, a, I think, a nice little way to look at your your getter setters, the modifiers, and then properties and how to use them, how to set them and create them in Python.